Did you know that you can use AI to create professional interior designs? You can do this with a tool called Reimagine Home AI Design. And I have left a link to it in the description so you can activate your free trial by clicking that. But nonetheless, let me show you exactly how this tool works. So the first thing you need to do is sign up and then you just choose your profession. And I'm going to just play something generic like software testing or whatever it is. And then you can start experimenting with the tool. As a first feature, I actually want to try this surprise me feature because that sounds something that is perfect for a lazy person like me. So all I really need to do is drag and drop an image into the view and then just describe it to the AI. And then I'm letting it generate the designs. And after a while, it's uploaded the image and then you need to click surprise me again. This is a bit inconvenient, but not a big problem. And then after a second, here's all the designs that it's generated me and these look pretty incredible but now what i can do is i can click on this surprise me thing again so i will create another design based on this newly created one and these look even more funky and impressive of course it's getting a bit like out of hand if you will but this will give you some like impression or some kind of a direction of what you can do with the tool then as the next tool, we're going to try out the landscape designer. And once again, I will drag and drop an image here. And now I'm actually trying to design this landscape for this kind of a backyard of a house. And here the AI is simply asking if it's the front or back side of a house. And then it will start process the image. And here it took about a couple of seconds to upload the image into the tool. Now for some reason, it's asking me for the project name and country and state. I think it's letting the AI know what kind of a project we're working on. But for me, this was a bit inconvenient. So I had to always fill in this form if I had to create a new project. Then it shows me how to mask the image. So if I want to add something to the image, I need to tell the AI where to place these images. So I can click on objects in this image. And as you can see, I'm desperately trying to figure out how it works. But then I realized that, hey, once you click an object, then you just click save and then it has masked that area successfully. And now I'm just letting it know that this is garden and landscaping and I want to add something cool to that. So I'm adding a bathtub, swimming pool and something minimalistic. And as you can see from these output images, the problem is that it's actually not adding all of those objects, but it did the pool thing. So that's really impressive. Next up, I am going to try the object removal tool. So I'm going to use the living room image that you already saw in the previous examples. And once again, the AI is just wanting to know what's the room. So it's a living room and it's a furnished one. And after a while, it has once again uploaded the image. And now what I need to do is I need to tell the AI where the object is that I want to remove. So I need to click on all these parts that make up this sofa, so all these pillows, tables and whatnot. And then I can just let the AI know that the object is now masked and save the project. And then I can just click on remove object and the AI will do its magic. And as you can see, it did a pretty decent job. So in the original image, we have the sofa, but in these newly created images, we don't have the sofa anywhere. So this is impressive. Although there is some distortion and some random objects in the mix, it's pretty incredible. As the last feature that I'm going to try, we're going to try the sky replacement feature. So I'm adding an image of a cottage that has a background sky that is covered with clouds. And I now want to remove these clouds. And once again, very similarly, I upload the image into the view and then I'm assigning it to an existing project. And then I'm just letting the AI know where this sky is located. So here I'm trying to mask the sky only not the flowers and then after <laughs> struggling with this for a second i was able to do that and then i can just choose the sky from the presets and then click on generate design and after like 30 seconds it is going to spit out all these images that show the cottage and the view as it was but this time the sky has been added into the view so no more clouds in this image and this looks pretty impressive. Although one thing I don't like is that the quality isn't quite there. But nonetheless, this is how you use the re 
imagine home design or AI to generate designs for your house. And those are just some of the features. As you can see, there are actually many, many, many more features that we didn't try in this one. But nonetheless, feel free to give it a try. This is a free piece of software. You can find a link to it in the description. You can mess up with all these features.